Okay everybody, OCD Otter here. I'm going to be showing you today RPG Inventory Mod. This mod basically adds a little bit of difference to your armor and abilities. You have the option right here. This is creative especially, but you will have the option to change the controls to whatever hotkey you would like it to, to pull up RPG Inventory, but you simply have, as you can see right here, different jewelry items which give you special abilities so I'll be going into that right here some of our special jewelry items are gold gloves which gives you speed health gloves buffed gloves which gives you resistance strength gloves self-explanatory and you get into rings which do the same thing pretty much but just give you a little bit more on that damage indicator right there next we have cloaks. This is your plain and simple cloak, base item needed to craft all the other cloaks. Next you have invisibility cloak, which is simply crafted like so. And black cape, red cape, and all these different capes. These are just simply decoration purposes. No big difference there. But how we make this wonderful little glove right here is with molds. And you will need a caster and all those different items that I'll get into in just a little bit because that's a whole other explanation. But you will find these glove molds and ring molds and necklace molds all inside strongholds or mine shafts in the chest that you find there. And that'll all be found wherever, wherever, wherever. Also, rage seeds. Not quite sure what that does. If any of you would like to comment and tell me, I probably will notice, but thank you. And, alright, and next, we have the Beastmaster hood, body, leggings, and all this craziness. So, what better way to try it all out than to actually try it out? Okay, so we're simply going to go right here into our survival and go into your RPG inventory. Okay, when you open up your RPG inventory, you're going to take your shield and place it right there in the shield slot. And as you can notice, this modder did an excellent job showing some serious 3D dimensions. Look at that. That has some 3D dimensions right there with that pixelation. Um, I'm in 1.6.4 with this RPG inventory mod, and they've also done a lot more boosting with the 3D graphics since 1.5.2, and I am really impressed with it. I love it. But that's not what all this is about. What we really need to get into is the abilities. Now, as you can see here, we have the empty crystal. What the empty crystal pretty much does is, since there's a nice little victim for me to take control of, I will fly right over to this cow and, okay, and then we will simply walk right up to this cow here and right click with our Beastmaster X. <coughs> and as you can see, we are having a little bit of hearts come, oh, and there you go. What is that? That would be a bull. Now, this kind of system works a little bit like Pixelmon, if you can kind of grasp that idea. When you take this, go into your RPG inventory, there we go, and place it into your pet slot, you can see we have a bull, and it is level 0, attack 4, and its HP is 18 out of 18. Additional info, bulls need level 50 to be ridden. So once you upgrade this bull, you can actually ride it and you pretty much have your own little familiar that you can use to attack other mobs. It's really cool and what you do is blow your little whistle and they get that little pretty sound and there you go. And whenever you attack a mob, your nice little bull will attack with you. And then you whistle back and it's, it's gone. There you go. And a nice little feature with the Beastmaster Axe is... Well, it would work. Sorry, I have um, Tree Capitator installed on here, so it does not get as best of a result as you could. But when mining a wooden block, it is insane. It's as if you are in creative. Its mining ability for wood is insane. But Beast, Ma Beast Master Leather is crafted with leather in the center and oak leaves all around. And that will get you this Beastmaster armor. And oops, that was awkward. 
There we go. Throw it back on in there. Okay. And then, I'm just going to take this off and then we will move on, guys. Takes just a second. That's the only downside to this mod is that with all this gear, you have a lot of removal to do if you were wanting to get rid of all the junk on you. But next we have Archmage. Archmage is, to me, m the most difficult one to understand, totally, but the coolest once you get a hang of it. I'm going to throw this in here because we are going to fill up fast if we keep doing this. Okay. I mean, okay, look at that. Look at that graphics right there. In my hand is the ultimate staff, and to craft the ultimate staff, let's go into my guide. That's the problem. The nether star is required, which means you will have to defeat the wither. But... That's okay, because you have the Wind Staff, Earth Staff, Frost Staff, and Fire Staff before then. But the only problem with those is that they're a little bit more difficult to create, I'll be honest, because the, you have to use a Lunar Staff, again, a little more complex, but Lunar Staffs are crafted with Glistering Melon, Lapis Lazuli, and sticks like that, and you get a Lunar Staff, and that is the base staff for all of your other staffs. You will need a Silk Touch pickaxe in order to mine the ice, and then use diamonds and create your Frost Staff, Earth Staff, Wind Staff, Fire Staff, Lunar Staff. All together will make this Ultimate Staff, which looks amazing, I have to say. I have to say. But, let me see. Sorry. Shield! Look at that. Look. I mean, guys, look at that. This, oh my gosh, I can't even... It is quite amazing. But... I think let's see. I think this goes in place of the shield, actually. No, it does not. You hold it in your hand. I apologize for that. But you will simply go like that and take that. Shift click all this in here. And you see we are already <laughs> really, really getting some stuff on us. But as you can see, this is a little explanation of wizard's knowledge and what each little thingy thing 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 does. A lot of complicated stuff, but all you have to know is when you have, in this mod, you have to have your full gear on. Little disclaimer for that one. Your full gear must be assembled in order to be able to use any of it. Only problem. But once you do that, it's so worth it. Because I'm powerful as ever. That was the Earth Staff. It pretty much shoots a jet of anything you could think of to anywhere. The ultimate staff is just absolutely crazy. It has all the powers of all the staffs in one and it will absolutely demolish everything. Frost staff, self-explanatory, fire, again, and lunar. No real purpose on that one from what I can see. If there is, I apologize for not informing you correctly, but solar Soul Sphere, I also have not found a purpose for, but it looks pretty cool. That's a, that's a nice purpose. <laughs> but, gonna place all this back, and to craft this, I will have to, real quick, take all this off. Again, a little bit of a hassle, but totally worth it once you really get into this. Okay. To craft this, you will need the Mage Gear, which comes with an Aura Shield. The Mage Gear is crafted by Mage Cloth. And Mage Cloth is made by One Leather and Lapis Lazuli all around. Okay, now to make the Arc Mage, you would simply take the Mage Gear you had, run around it with all gold ink, gold nuggets, excuse me, and then you'll get your Arc Mage Gear. And to make Wizard's Knowledge, it is just the Mage Cloth and Paper to make a book. There you go. But the Mage really does not have much purpose other than being the base to making the Arc Mage. Next we have Berserker Gear, which is personally probably my favorite because it's insane. But to make the Animal Skin in order to make the Berserker, you will need one leather and brown wool all around. And I will now show you just how crazy this really gets. I tell you guys, this mod is really impressive with some of the things it's added. I truly am impressed. But let's go gang up on this poor little turkey. Oh, bear fight. Bear fight. Okay. 
I'm sorry. But boom! You see that? You see it. Did you, guys, did you, I want you to know. Look at that. Look. Can't get him. He's too much of a punk. Look at this. Look at this. Boom! That bear didn't even see it. He didn't even see it coming. And if I use... Oh, that was my special ability. <laughs> if you use your control for special ability, and mine is R. If I click R, it sends a sonic wave outwards towards that animal or mob or whatever and totally, totally pushes it away and demolishes it. So it's like hitting it with the hammer, but with a little bit of knockback with it. It's impressive. Now, uh, excuse me. Now, we have the claymore. Poor little bunny's going to have to get it. Oh, oh, look at you go. Look at that. Look at that power. Look at that power. The claymore is insane. And let me just point out. Oh, whoa, wrong key there. This thing is ginormous. Look at it. It's ginormous, guys. It's ginormous. I just got to say. But it's just, it's really, really cool. <laughs> but let me get back over here, and I will show you the crafting recipe for both of these. Where are we at? Right here. I'll add these back in, and I was not wearing my booties. Oh, I think I just made double. But why is that not showing me? Um, Let me just do this one right here. Okay, block of iron, two leather, two iron, and bam, you got yourself a rage breaker, is what this weapon is called. And let me look up claymore. Claymore is made with stone, iron, and leather. Why? That's why it's kind of not as powerful as the others. Let me set this time back. But it is still pretty dang cool. But okay, let's just take all this right back off. Again, I apologize for the delay in having to get this all back together, but I'm sure it's worth being able to see the power of these amazing items. Just get rid of these real quick. Don't need all this cluttering. Okay, and Paladin. Sad thing about Paladin is I'm not familiar with its actual ability because when I tried to use this ability, it sadly crashed my game. So I don't know if it's less a known bug or if that's just a bug with my game because I have other mods installed, but I will not be using the special ability today. Feel free to look it up on the form. I'm sure it's there. I apologize for not being able to show that, but I do not want to crash my game on you guys because that is not what you want to watch. I know that. But the cool thing is this is the coolest looking armor I've ever seen. I look like a freaking knight. I can take all y'all down. And the coolest thing, oh my gosh, the only problem with this is that this armor weighs you down so much that you are like super, super duper slow. Look, even when I'm flying and creative. It's just crazy. And I really wish I could show you guys the special ability, but I cannot because it will crash my game. Trust me, you don't want to, you don't even want to know. But Paladin Steel is one of the hardest to get. As you can see, the Paladin Shield is made with Paladin Steel and the block of iron in the center, and Paladin Steel is made with water bottle, water bottle, iron, and gold around to make one. And it's the same complex, same idea when it comes to making the armor. It's an insane amount of minerals. It is super expensive. Not my favorite when it comes to how hard it is to get it, but I am sure it is like super durable. Ain't nothing getting you when you got this stuff on. But next, we have a really cool one for all you people who are rogue fans. This is extremely cool. Let's add on the booties. And there we go. And I, I just love this one. This is cool. But let's look at this real quick before we even get started. And it is purple dye, which is a little harder to do, but not too much. String and leather. And yes, these all are very cost costly, really difficult to get. But once you get them, you have a really cool set of armor to show off to people. And people are going to look at you like, dang dude, you got some power. <laughs> but 
Your weapon is the rogue dagger. I apologize for smacking that poor ice block. He did nothing. But let's gang up on these foxes. Boom! I have the power of sneaking. You see the little feather? See that? See that? Boom! I can sneak up on my enemies whenever I want. It's pretty nice. I, I actually enjoy this one because it gives you a lot of sneaking abilities. And look at that. It's like Enderman teleporting... But you have to wait for it to replenish, so don't expect it to be like a little getaway free card all the time. Because you do have to wait on replenish. But that's alright, because you have just a few seconds, and then you're back into the game. So, that's on the rogue. Pretty sweet. Archer is amazing. Archer, if I go right here into my craft guide, you will see this is probably one of the easier, easier ones, but the only problem is that you are super, 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 I can't get that cr across enough, easy to kill when you are wearing this. This is like leather armor to me, pretty much. You will die so easy, but the power you get is probably enough compensation for that. But you make this with leather string right there, and you get tanned hide, which you can make into the archer gear. Now, if I show you we have our little archer small shield. It's so sad. But this is an infinity bow, and this is a little more costly, but you take an emerald, birch wood, and string, and you have the infinity birch wood bow. This thing is super cool, and its durability lasts a good long while. But my favorite is its power. But first, let me just show you it works with fire, too. It's crazy. But my favorite, favorite thing, but you have to be super careful with, because I have seen people get hurt before with this ability. It's pretty bad. Let me get a little bit more of a shot that I can take. Okay, this is good. Now, with my ability, if I press my hotkey, you will see that there is a flaming palooza coming down out of the sky. And why I said that there is a serious problem. That is cool, but as you can see, if I do not lock on and I just hotkey, let me give that time to replenish, but in the meantime, let me just, boom! Look at that. Look at that, guys. Come on. But, as you can see, if you do not lock on, you will definitely get messed up. For example, here comes, oh my gosh, <laughs> that is just scary, right? Oh, Wow. If I was, if that was in survival, I'd have been dead. No questions asked. You were dead. And especially with this squishy armor you got on. It's ridiculous. You'd have been dead. No questions asked. And... Uh, ow. Okay. Now, let's get right into, I think, our final... Yes, our final one, after I get off this armor, is... The Necromancer. The Necromancer <coughs> is made with spider eye, spider eye, spider eye, leather, and four bones around. And that will get you Necromancer cloth. And to make the shield, you will need a wither skeleton head. And the main weapon is... Let's take a look-see. The Necromancer skull. The Necromancer skull is, again, with another ske wither skeleton head. So you will need two with bone all around. And that will get you the skull. Now, let me just show you, guys, this is this is pretty cool. I'd say this is pretty cool. I am going to place this on. Give me just a second. Okay, and now that I have my full gear on, look at that. Look at that. I look super incognito. You'll never find me. Anyway, if I right-click with this, bam, I have a skeleton minion. They are a little shorter than normal skeleton, but... You know, well, they might not be. Uh, I don't know. Am I just tall? Am I just tall? I don't know. But I can spawn these in after I wait for the replenish, of course, which is just a second. And I can have my little minions fight for me whenever I want. And it's quite impressive. Let me just go over here and gang up on this sheep. Something's been killing fish. <laughs> but you see, they will spawn to me. And boom. They're crazy, but apparently water does not 
to suit well for them. And also, if you spawn in too many, they will eventually start dying. But that was very scary noises. But that is pretty much it today, guys. I hope you... Whoa. Look at that shield, guys. I hope you enjoyed this mod review today. Only problem that I've really seen is there's occasional crash and one really big notable problem. When you go into the end and you leave, not when you're in it, when you leave the end and you go to that title screen with all the little talking and all that, you will lose all of your inventory because RPG inventory has this known glitch where it just wipes it all. But it will still be in the end. So you can put an ender portal chest in your house and then put one in the end and then go back to the end once you defeated the dragon shoot it all back go in bear go back out all that fun stuff it's complicated but other than those couple little glitches and the occasional crash because of a ability that might have been me might not have been whatever this is a really amazing mod all credit will go to the mod creator which i will put in the description and i will link out to the forum but guys Thank you so much for watching. I'm OCD Otter, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.